This video shows three ways to expand and shrink screen views on your computer. And as you can see, I have a couple things open here just so you can kind of see how these would have an effect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Windows cog because we want the Windows settings. And we're going to click on settings. And then from here, we're going to click on system. This is going to take us to the display settings. And this is sort of a global change, meaning it's going to affect yeah, everything that displays in the monitor because it's changing something about the monitor itself. So I'm going to scroll down. Um, as you can see, I'm on the display tab. This is sort of the default when you come into the settings. And I'm going to change the resolution. When I do this, you're going to see it'll instantly be applied to the screen. And then I'll get a little notification box that asks me, do I really want to do that? Do I like the settings? So I'm going to pick something different. And it's going to say, do you want to keep these settings? Which I don't because my, um, as you can see, the uh, recording screen actually just got smaller. I'm going to say revert because I don't want that. Um, if you were to not choose, it would actually go back automatically. Um, and there, as you can see, there are several settings in here. There's all kinds of settings, and these could get really crazy. Um, basically, the gist of how this works is this is the number of pixels that are displayed on your screen on the monitor. So your monitor is a set physical size, and the resolution is not. So it's, it, it's dynamic. It could change. So what this means is this is saying there's going to be 1,920 pixels uh, in the width and 1,100 or 1,080 in the height. If I were to make this less, it means that there are less pixels on the same size screen, meaning each pixel is bigger. So by setting a resolution to lower, you're able to make each pixel bigger and things appear to be bigger. The higher the resolution, the more pixels on your screen, the smaller everything appears to be. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm gonna leave mine at 1920 by 1080 because for my monitor that works best. The next thing you can do is change some things with ease of access. So if I were to go to the settings cog, this is where you land again. And I'm going to click on ease of access. And then from here, one of the things you can do is you can make like text bigger. So say you're having a hard time reading stuff. What you can do is you can slide this over and make this bigger. And this really just kind of affects text without actually changing your screen resolution. So luckily, you actually see this default as you're doing it. So if you were to apply that, then everything would change. So let me try to apply that. Okay, after a really long delay, <laughs> everything was updated. So um, if you'll see, this is much bigger and, for me, annoying. And then also, this was what my blog screen looked like in the background. Now it's what I would call like the Tonka version. So it's huge. So um, I definitely want to change that back, and I will do that, and then I'll cut that out of the video so you don't have to watch that. <laughs> Okay, so that took about 20 to 25 seconds to do. So you probably really want to pay attention to what this looks like and be sure that you have what you want before you actually apply it because the apply took quite a long time. So I'm going to leave that there. The other thing you can do is you can change the size and color of your mouse pointer. So for me, like I could move this here. And as you notice, as I'm dragging, my mouse is getting bigger and bigger. And this is huge. I think I might find this hard to like even... Oh yeah. Okay. So you can actually get this big and depending upon what you're doing, maybe that's helpful, but um, I have mine set to the small size, but you can also make it bigger. Um, and then you can change the color. Boy, changing that screen. You can pick different colors. So I had picked this color in the pre previously, but I could pick this color or this color. I could pick whichever color I wanted. You could also pick a custom color if you really wanted to. So I'm not going to do that. I don't need that. Um, but I will pick this like lime green and I'll make this back to the normal size. God, it seems really small now that I went, now that I made it so big. Hmm, maybe I'll try that size. Uh, anyway, these are things you can do to make basically everything on your screen easier to see. So this is basically your mouse pointer, which isn't everything. It's a more finite thing instead of a global change, but it makes it easier to do the things you're trying to do. And the mouse is something that you use very often. So that's really cool. Um, the last thing you can do, so I'm going to close this. The last thing you can do is there are several programs that will allow you to just change the resolution of them, in essence, sort of like the zoom, right? So in any web browser, almost every single one of them, if you click on the menu up in the corner, has a Zoom menu available to you right away. Really easy. So I can just quickly do this. If I, so in other words, if I don't need to change the text size for everything, or I don't need the screen resolution change for everything, but every once in a while I, you know, my eyes are tired or whatever, I can do this. So quick little, or maybe you just go to a website where the um, resolution is really small, the font size is small. Um, this is something you can do to get around that. So every web browser will have that inside of here inside the little, their little settings cog, no matter pretty much no matter what browser you use, it's usually very quick and easy to get to. 
And last but not least, some programs, so this is an Adobe program, some programs will automatically resize. They either have the, the zoom set here, but also if you were to shrink the window, it will shrink with you. So say you're trying to get it to, you open it up and it's off the screen or it's too big and you're trying to get it to fit, or maybe it opens and it's too small and you can't read it. You can simply, you could either, you know, do these things in zoom, but then it might be off the screen, but you can also just drag the screen and make it bigger. And as you're doing that, the sizing of that window is automatically getting bigger. So not everything does that. Like if I were to do that on a web browser, that doesn't work, but many programs do do that. So those are the three ways you can expand or shrink screen views to make them better meet your needs.